Hi guys, welcome back to Making Food Monday. This week I'm gonna make one of my favorite things that we used to pass by the mall and pick up all the time. We don't go to the mall anymore, so I don't even know if it's still in there, but we used to stop and get bourbon chicken every time we went to the mall. And today I found a recipe for the same thing. So I'm, my fingers are crossed. I really hope that it turns out the same. And today we're gonna try it out. Let's make some bourbon chicken. For today's recipe, we are going to need brown sugar, cornstarch, butter, ketchup, hoisin sauce, don't know how to pronounce that, I think that's right, chicken bouillon powder, sesame seed oil, ginger, vegetable oil, rice vinegar, or you can use apple cider vinegar if you don't have rice vinegar, uh, soy sauce, apple juice, honey, and garlic. And of course, the star of the show will be our chicken. I've got chicken thighs here, that's what's recommended. If you use chicken breast, it may not have the right consistency this time. So I would recommend the thighs. And that's all we're gonna need for today's recipe, guys. First step today is gonna be to thaw our chicken just a little bit so we can cut it into nice small bite-sized pieces. Next up, we're gonna get one tablespoon of butter and we're gonna add that right to the pot. We are also gonna add one tablespoon of vegetable oil and we need one tablespoon of sesame seed oil. And next we're gonna take our chicken and just cut that down into bite-sized pieces. Now the recipe says that we need two pounds of chicken, but I did not measure this. I'm just making, oh, I don't know, this much. into our sear roast function. We're gonna get that started, get all of our oil and our butter warmed up so it's ready for our chicken. Okay guys, I think we're ready for our chicken. We're gonna take all of our chicken here and we're gonna add that right into the pot with the oil. Okay guys, while our chicken is browning, we're gonna prepare our fresh ginger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrape that skin off with a spoon. The spoon method really does work. The next thing going into our pot is our nice freshly minced ginger. That's going right in on top. That's about one tablespoon. We are also going to add one tablespoon of garlic. And that one goes. Up next, we need one quarter cup of apple juice. Now you can actually put in real bourbon, but I didn't wanna go out and buy real bourbon just for this recipe. So we're gonna use apple juice instead, and you can do it either way you would like. I'm gonna use one quarter cup of apple juice. There it goes. Once you start to smell the ginger and the garlic, you know that's pretty well ready for the next ingredient. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of rice vinegar, or if you don't have rice vinegar, you can use apple cider vinegar. There's one, and there's two. Okay guys, up next we're adding one quarter of a cup of soy sauce. And there is one quarter cup of soy sauce. Up next we're adding one quarter of a cup of water. And one quarter of a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. And up next, we are going to be adding one quarter of a cup of brown sugar. There you go. Okay guys, once we get this all mixed together, we will be ready to seal up our pot. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go into our chicken function because that is our high pressure. We're gonna bring that time cook down to only four minutes. Hey guys, that was quick and painless. Our time has expired and it's time to let out our pressure. There we go. Yeah, that smells good. Okay guys, now we're not quite finished. We need to add one quarter cup of ketchup. We need two tablespoons of honey. There's 
And then we need to add two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce. Hoi, hois, I don't know. There's one. And there's two. Hey guys, we're gonna mix that up, get all those flavors combined here. And the last thing we need to do is, stop that, sear roast function again and get that turned on so we can bring this up to a boil. And we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch with two tablespoons of water in a separate bowl. Okay guys, I'm gonna add my cornstarch slurry right in there and then stir right away. Make sure we don't get any clumps. Thicken up our sauce. So I've served it on a bed of rice and I've topped it with some green onions and there we go, bourbon chicken. Okay guys, it's ready and I've got it plated. Now all we need are our, do it. Guinea pigs! I see a Mia pig. Ta-da! The guinea pigs are at the table! Wait, I see a Heidi pig. Hmm. Oh, there he is! Oh, it thinks it smells awesome! Me! Who's starving? Me! Well, if Dad's the only one that's gonna answer, Dad, you get to go first! me! Now, this is my favorite stuff to get at the um, food court, like in a mall. I know, me too. That's what I said at the beginning, is this should be an exact copycat of that, but we'll see. That's what the recipe said. Yeah, Let's so. see. Mmm, pretty sweet. Pretty close. Not 100%, but very close. Very tender, sweet. Oh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah? How many thumbs are you going to give that, Dad? To be seated. <laughs> Let's see who's going next. Oh, Mia's crying. Mia, okay, you can go next. It's a little hot, so okay. Do you like it? <laughs> yes. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Nano, you're going next. That was mm. quick. Mm. It's good. What do you think? How many thumbs are you going to give that? That's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Could use a tiny salt. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Nano. Okay, Jax, it's your turn. Are you ready? No? There's nobody else to go before you, though. It's your turn. Yeah. Uh, I think somebody might be refusing to taste it today. They don't want the chicken. So are we gonna try again? Come on, have a taste of it. This is Mia's second helping. Yeah. Jordan has already finished with his second helping and Jackson still is reluctant to taste it. Come on, baby, have a taste. Yeah. What do you think? One thumb? Thanks, man. <laughs> Boom. The real thumbs are on the right arm. <laughs> That's a new one. That's a new one. Okay, guys, my final thoughts. Uh, it took some convincing, but Jackson finally tasted it and he decided that it was good. I think he's in a bit of a mood today, if anybody can't tell. Uh, but after he was willing to actually taste it, he did like it. So I would say this one was successful. I really liked it. All of the kids thought it was tasty and uh, it's definitely one that we'll do again. This one was really, really good. It wasn't quite as good as the kind you get at the mall, but it was definitely a close second and uh, it's close enough. <laughs> It's close enough that I'll make it again. So I give this one a big thumbs up. Who thought the dinner was awesome? Me. 
Everybody thought it was amazing. Mia said that it was her favorite thing that we've ever had in the pressure cooker. It was definitely top five. Man, that was good. It was pretty tasty, I probably yeah. probably said that with every, every meal. Yeah, Wait. maybe. But this one was actually really good. Jackson, what did you think after you tasted it? You didn't want to taste it at first, but after you tasted it, what did you think? Good. It was good, huh? Anyway, this one was amazing. You guys need to go to bed. So we will make this one again because it got everybody's thumbs up. Oh, yeah. And now it's bedtime. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to miss this channel strong, share it with your friends. And now, good night, YouTube. See you tomorrow. Please subscribe now. Please subscribe now. Please subscribe now. Please subscribe now. Please subscribe now.